This one won't go viral. Well, the last one didn't either, but you know, viral. I'm getting a lot of tweets. I thought I would address this, which is, I want to say the system is, I, I didn't say this loud enough for people. The system is racist. It fucks over new stars. The issue is, is that the system isn't one person. We have to push for positive change in this, but doing that is almost impossible because the system can't admit that it's racist. You can't say, no, you're racist, because they'll go, no, I'm not. How dare you accuse me of being racist? And when I say they, there are many they's from that. That's why my first video is so vague is it's impossible to choose a they and say like casting directors. Casting directors are a tiny part of the process. Well, then directors. Well, directors are only a small, you know, a little bit bigger part of the process, but even they have to get approval uh, on independent movies from financiers on uh, on studio movies from studio executives. Okay, then studio executives. But studio executives are just part of the process. It, it's infuriating how broken it is because the, the metrics that it's all based on aren't fucking real. Gravity did not need to be Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. Those could have been two unknown actors. They could have made the same movie and it would have, I think, been almost just as big of a hit. Time and time again, it's proven that risks are rewarded. We're never gonna make an R-rated superhero movie because R-rated movies don't make money anymore. I heard that in a meeting like last year. I mean. It's so hard to say and know that people will get this wrong, but it's fear. There is a, a fear, a terror, that at its heart is irrational. Fast and Furious movies make shitloads of money. None of those people are famous. Vin Diesel's famous. Michelle Rodriguez is like a tiny bit famous. Uh, Paul Walker was never famous for anything but Fast and the Furious. Really? I mean, he's in The Great Running Scared, but you see, you see what I'm saying? Like, no one looks at those people, look at those, and they go, well, that's Fast and the Furious. And you go, what about Pacific Rim? I mean, Pacific Rim didn't ultimately make its money back, but... Lots of minority actors in that, leading it. No famous white guy, no famous white girl. Well, that was the robots. There will always be an excuse. And, you know, that was a Guillermo del Toro movie, so it doesn't count. This doesn't count, that doesn't count. But the fact of the matter is, Blade was a successful superhero movie that spawned two sequels in the 90s. In the 90s and start a black guy and no one even made a big deal of it because we've fallen so far and we've gotten so scared because movies make less and less money that no one takes risks e anymore even though they're not risks. It's just a broken system. People kept, people kept like angrily agreeing with me. Like, well, the, well, I understand how the movie industry works. And then they'd say something that would be like, eh, not meh, sort of. They'd be like, why doesn't the casting director, because the casting directors are for hire. They get who you tell them to get. Okay, then why doesn't the director, because the director is for hire. The people he chooses are people who have to be approved. Well, then why doesn't the studio, because they're afraid. The truth of it is that I think this will end. I think it is going to turn around. I, my video was to try to express to you guys that the ghost in the shell thing is a microcosm of a broken system that is not angry racist and is not whitewashing in the classical sense. It just shuts people out. It, sh it fucking shuts minorities and not even minorities, everyone. I mean, minorities especially, but new actors get boxed out of roles that could have made them stars. Was I clear enough this time? Jeez Louise.